All right, we are officially live. I'm going to go through roll call. Um, and then we will go from there. Um, so Officer Todd Cushman. No. Officer Laurel Harrington. Here. Jovan Gerard is it's here. <laughs> You're okay, thank you. Jovan is uh, excused. He had another meeting to attend to. Um, Tom Taberski is here. Um, Kim Lawler. No. Uh, myself, Rachel Loveland. Alexander Lee. Here. Here. Kyla Lorden. Here. Thank you, Kyla. And Jack Williams is uh, not yet. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to stand. We're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, I actually do have a flag. Let me see if I can spin this. I pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America, to the Republic for which one stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. And with that, we'll call the meeting to order. Um, so there was no problem. Rachel, do you have Trevor Bertel? I emailed him the uh, information. Okay. I, he's just not in the waiting room yet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, thanks for checking. And thanks for letting me know, because that's the only way I would have known. Um, so we talked about doing the programming, the be kind to your mind. Um, so I ordered a bunch of stuff. Um, here's our fun bag. Um, we are working on the flyer now. We do have a program set for May 25th and 26th. There's going to be a parents night and a teen night. Um, it's called coping with uncertainty. Um, and it's all about just working through um, anxiety, hopelessness, dealing with unexpected turns of events, um, coping skills, all the kinds of things we talked about. Um, so it is still kind of a work in progress. Um, you know, the timing is not uh, necessarily what we were looking for. We probably wanted a little bit sooner, um, but that's what worked. So there'll be an informational session for the parents. And then the next night there will be a, a program for teens. Uh, the parent portion is going to be recorded so that we can share it long term. The teen portion um, is not going to be recorded. So just the kids who want to participate can sign up, they'll participate, and then that'll be the end of it. Um, so we got this really fun little stress guy whose eyes pop out. Um, and it says, be kind to your mind on it. Uh, we got the journals that Al I think, Alex, you talked about. Um, so that they can just kind of document and all of this stuff will kind of be used um, in the programming so they'll get the bag. Um, we got like phloem, slime stuff uh, for fidgeting. And then because we also just had tons of money to spend, we got hand sanitizer, lip glosses, and straws. Um, so that'll be all kind of the swag that goes with the program. So the parents who attend and the youth who attend will get that um, coupled with some brochures and some things that we've ordered. Any thoughts, questions, things that we should be adding to the programming, anything like that? I think I just missed the last meeting. So is I'm assuming these are gonna be virtual? They are gonna be virtual. Okay. Um, uh, we will record them. Like I said, uh, we are working on the advertising piece of it now. Um, so that will be the Youth Service Bureau's kind of project for the year. Okay. And just, and they'll run in the evening hours, you said, correct? Yep. So the parent one, I think, is six is 7 to 8.30 um, with that last half hour just kind of being for discussion and questions. And the youth portion is 6.30 to 8.00. Um, and, and that's, so it's Tuesday, May 25th and Wednesday, May 26th. Okay. And after this meeting, I'll send you guys kind of all of the, I'll send you the flyers so that you have it and you can share it with, uh, folks. Okay. Um, 
Rachel, can you send that to me as a digital copy? Absolutely. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Yeah, that'd be helpful too. If we, we can probably distribute it through the school. I know Joven or Kim's not on, but I'm sure um, Principal Petrino yeah. would be fine with that. Definitely. Thank you. We'll, we'll put it on our on our Facebook page and, and possibly an email too, if that helps. Thank you, Tom. That would be super helpful. Um, I think, and Alex, you had talked about kind of just making sure it's announced in homeroom and stuff like that. So um, I will also send copies to you guys, the students. So just in case you don't come across it in the next couple of weeks and all the different avenues that we do have it going, you can just kind of maybe send it to a teacher or two so that they can talk about it. Maybe like sending it to like one specific subject like maybe okay. like all of the english teachers get it and like they talk about it in all of their classes because like you need to take one english class every year if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. so yeah and I, I know they can be because they ask a lot of those teachers that have every grade um so we can certainly also there's like um a, a newsletter that goes out to the parents weekly we can throw it in there and the kids have access to that as well. Do you guys read those, Alex? I don't think I even knew it existed, so okay. I'm going to say no. Gotcha. I'm sure there, it's like a- <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> from the main office, the weekly announcements. Oh okay. yeah, I think my mom does get those then. Yeah, you know the ones they read every morning? Yeah. So that's, it's like a written version of that. But I wasn't sure if it went out to the students. It goes out to staff, definitely, though. Yeah, so, I don't think they send it to students. Okay. We'll make sure we get it in that bulletin, and then every staff member will be aware of it as well. That oh, way they can kind of maybe let students know that they know our need of some services yeah. to kind of push it to them. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is there any kind of other major school issues that are going on that, um, you know, that need to be addressed as the school year wraps up? I'll let, um, I guess you guys answer that probably no better than I do. I will say I'm not actually in the school right now. I'm going okay. back to school on the third. I was full-time distance learning, but, um, talking with my friends, like on group chats and stuff i haven't really heard of anything that's like really okay. big i mean i think the only thing would probably be like feeling isolated from covid but there's not all that much that we can do about it until right. restrictions have been brought back yeah and alex you're a senior right or are you a junior i'm a senior you are a senior yeah and one thing that's positive news um it does look like we're gonna have a normal graduation and prom oh yeah. good so I, I think that was causing some you know like definitely some stress and i know i've been working with some parents on what they were going to do to kind of make up for those events but mm -hmm. it sounds like that's moving forward um i'm obviously out of the school on the maternity modified duty but um officer bertel who i'd added to the list he's there now and hasn't shared anything you know he said things have been going great there was good energy when everybody went back so i'm glad to hear you're going back to alex yeah. Um, yeah. So he said it's good energy in the school since everyone's been back. So hopefully yeah. that's eased some of the mental stuff. Hopefully. Um, and so I guess that kind of leads me to my next discussion point. Alex, you're graduating. Uh, uh, Kyler, are you graduating? Uh, no, I'm a junior. I have one. Year okay. Left. Perfect. So um, if you guys have friends or classmates that you think would be um, interested in joining the Youth Service Bureau Advisory Board, um, or if you guys know of any students who want to join, please send them my way because um, we will lose Alex. And I don't know if um, Jack is a senior or not. I'm pretty sure he's a junior. I don't think he's in my grade. Yeah. So we'll yeah, at least. He's a junior. Okay. Thank you. Um, he's. We'll easily need one, but I ideally maybe two or three, so that um, Kyla and Jack can kind of show them the way of what what's what we do and kind of moving forward. Um, so mention it if anybody's interested. Just shoot me an email or have them shoot me an email. Um, you know, it doesn't take too much to be a part of this. So hopefully that's a good incentive. Um, but you can put it on your college application. You can, and <laughs> if you need letters, I know how to write them. So. 
So please, please, if you know anyone, if you want to drag a friend with you or whatever, just send them my way. And congratulations on graduating, Alex. Thank you. Where are you headed? Do you know? UConn. Okay. Go Huskies. I'm an alum myself, so I only have good things to say. Other programs that the Youth Service Bureau is um, doing over the next couple of weeks, just so that you guys are aware, um, we're doing really fun family take-home kits. Um, so for the month of May, we are providing tie-dye kits to any family that requests them, along with four pillowcases, because I couldn't keep track of t-shirt sizes. Um, so any family who can, re can request a tie-dye kit up until May 4th or 5th, um, and then the order will go in, so we'll distribute those. Um, and the idea is that we're encouraging families to step away from electronics and do something together. Um, so they send an email at the end of the program, kind of just reflecting on their experience, and they're entered into a raffle to win a gift card to a local restaurant um, for a family dinner. Um, the other fun program we're offering, um, and this is right up uh, the high school students uh, alley, is a four-week yoga and mindfulness program. It starts next Monday at 6 to 6.45. It's also via Zoom. Um, so there's a little bit of yoga. There's a little bit of like journaling, some meditation, um, and it's free to anybody who wants to participate. Again, they just email me and they're given the Zoom link, um, and that's for the next four Mondays from 6 to 6.45. I got two more, so just bear with me, guys. We have a very exciting, um, and it's not really the greatest flyer because it's dark, um, but it's a two-night vaping program, one for parents, one for youth. Um, the the uh, consequences of vaping, the signs to look for, um, this guy uh, he calls himself an edutainer. Um, he came highly recommended, so we will be running that. It is May 18th and May 20th, it's an hour long. Um, and if parents or students can't make the actual event, it will be recorded and uh, available for 30 days following. So I'll send you guys this flyer too so you can share it. And the last one is the Home Alone Safety Class. It's geared really to about eight to 13 year olds, also going to be virtual on um, June 1st. And it's really just uh, talking with the kids, giving them some scenarios about, um, you know, making good choices when they're home alone, signs to look out for, don't answer the doorbell, that type of thing. Um, and they get a, a little handbook and the parents get kind of like a follow up um, information sheet to kind of, you know, talk with their kid after the program um, and reflect on kind of what they discussed and, you know, what are then their household expectations and things like that. Um, so those are all of the programs happening here at the Youth Service Bureau as we try and wrap up our grant year and spend some money. Um, so I will share those flyers with you. Uh, and that's all of my updates. Uh, Laurel, do you have any updates? Um, not that I can think of. Like I said, um, Officer Bertel's in the school now. I'm not sure. I don't think he was in there in the last meeting. So just so yeah. we're all aware, but I'll be back next December. Okay. So we'll probably still see him at the October meeting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be right, let me leave it make myself a note. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Um, and then Tom, that means it's your turn. I, we are planning for a full summer of activities with the pool, um, pool camps and, now planning events, uh, the pool, right, we're still waiting for Department of Public Health guidance on swimming, but it'll at least be what we had last summer, two sessions in every afternoon. Uh, families pre-register for their spot on the pool, uh, for, it, for their spot in that session. Um, we have increased our camp numbers across the board um, to, to, to get closer to what the Office of Early Childhood guidelines. So full sessions of basketball camp, baseball camp, day camp is now from gone from 60 to 90 for this year. And um, we are going to continue to do the pod, um, the pod process, I guess, you know, groups of probably have six groups of 15 to get to 90. Um, but it's going to look a lot more like a regular summer for us. Um, special events, we were waiting for the for the gathering guidance to come out. Um, now that we have a good idea of what that is, we're kind of looking at what we think we can do. So there might be some concerts or a family, pro a couple of family programs put in there, but those will be announced probably toward the end of May. 
Glad to hear that there's some normalcy coming. Long dark winter is almost over. Glad to hear it. Um, and then Alex or Kyla, do you have any updates, anything to share? I can't really think of anything. Um, yeah, just out of curiosity, either. for the Youth Service Bureau, how are those being distributed? Like, how are we letting people know about that? So these flyers um, have been, they're shared from our social media Facebook page, um, Simsbury Community and Social Services. And it gets posted to all of like the Facebook groups of the, like the Simsbury families and all of that. Um, we are also contacted, uh, we have a distribution list that goes to all of the school social workers. Um, and uh, somebody at the Board of Ed, and I can't remember her name off the cake, Wilder, maybe, um, off the top of my head, who, um, thank you. Uh, we send her those, and then we're hoping that they get distributed everywhere they need to be. Okay. So, if you haven't seen them in a place that you think they should be, especially, like, easy stuff, like social media and things like that, uh, let me know, because um, I just start kind of clicking and sharing it wherever I can. One place, I'm... Um Pretty sure you said, um, I'm not sure if you know about it, but Simsbury Neighbors Unite, that would probably yep. be an excellent place to put it. I'll because. make sure that one's on there. There's a couple different versions. Yeah. yeah that's, yeah, you're right. That's the main one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I perfect. know at the elementary schools, they have like take home, I don't know, it's different than at the high school, how parents get um, the handouts, but... I, don't, I haven't seen them come out at the high school, but I think the staff is on a different list than the parents, obviously. You're right. But like that beeping one, I think a lot of parents would be interested in. So we'll figure out a way. Um, I'll talk to Trevor and see if those are reaching the high school. Sounds good. And in the meantime, I will inundate your guys' inboxes with my fun flyers. Perfect. Anything else, guys? No? Okay, so that really wraps us up for this academic year. Um, we are not scheduled to meet again until October of next year. It's October 11th. Um, so I'll start, you know, uh, blowing up your inbox probably late September, early October to just remind you. In the meantime, if you have any people you want to send my way to join our group, please let me know. Um, and I hope you guys all have a happy summer. Uh, October 11th, is that a school holiday? It's Columbus Day. Is it or Native people say. My luck, probably. <laughs> so let me look. You're probably right, huh? Yeah, I'm looking at the calendar. It does say Columbus Day. I don't know if that's a school holiday or not anymore. It is. I, yeah. Those have All right. So we will have a special meeting um, sometime in October. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank All you, right. guys. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, everyone. Bye.